Gohan, if you do not stop Cell here, he will extinguish all life on this planet. It isn't fair to ask this of one so young, but you are the only one with the power to take him down. Stop holding back. Just let go. That's enough out of you worthless piece of scrap! No! This is my tournament, and I plan on doing this my way. Yet another fighter you could have saved. You'd better start getting mad before all of them are dead. No! I can't! I'm just a kid! I don't want to fight you! Please, tell them to stop! No, he's powered down. Go on! <laughs> My time! Ahem. <clears throat> Juniors! If you three are done beating those fools into the ground, I have a new target for you! <laughs> I want you to beat that runt to death! <laughs> Go on! Annoying vermin, you will not interfere! Pipe down! Uh, Piccolo! Trunks! <laughs> Leave Gohan alone! Gohan, I'm coming! Now, why are you in such a hurry? Damn you! Let go of me! Hmm. Utterly useless. Just as I thought. I'm sorry, Dad. You were wrong about me. I couldn't save anyone. Uh uh uh. I want you to watch as your son is reduced to a bloody pulp. No! Stop! No! Go! <laughs> Why don't you join him in his grave? I've got to get to Gohan. Gohan! I'm here, son. P please, just hang in there. <laughs> As Goku's tear-filled eyes gaze upon the lifeless, battered body of his son, memories of the past flood his mind with sorrow and guilt. The events following this were never meant to happen, but Goku had never before felt a loss of this magnitude. And so... There, there, Goku. It wasn't a big loss. Such a pathetic excuse for a warrior doesn't deserve to live. You! How dare you! How dare you! What? He's different than before! Ugh. You will pay for what you've done with your life! Well now, this could get interesting. What was that surge of energy I just felt? Kakarot and Gohan, he's... It seems you're holding out on me, Goku. Frankly, I'm insulted. But if you think a mere power-up will be enough to defeat me, you are sorely mistaken. No, Cell is wrong. If Kakarot was holding back, I would have sensed it. He's changed. Wait, could it be? Is this the true ascended form of Super Saiyan? <laughs> Thanks for moving the trash. Dad. 
Why didn't you save me? You just stood there and watched. How could you? What's wrong, Goku? Did I strike a nerve? You and your spawn are the only trash I see. Hmm. The juniors serve their purpose. Anyway, now it seems the true fight can begin. This is completely absurd. After all the time we spend trying to kill these things, he wipes them out just like that? Not bad, Goku. But you'll have to do better than that! Uh, he only landed two blows on me? Then why am I so damaged? I couldn't even defend myself. Is he stronger than me? No! I refuse to believe it! Well done, Goku. But there is more to winning a fight than strength and speed. Impressive, Goku. But it was rather selfish of you to let your son get killed before revealing this power of yours. It's just as I thought. He may have the edge in strength and speed. But he's completely lost control. He's left himself wide open. I have you now, fool. Barrier! <laughs> All that power without a mind to use it! How incredibly disappointing! Now you will feel the full extent of my power! And die! I... I've done it! Uh, <laughs> That's all the power you have? You're as good as dead. Ugh, damn it. My whole body is numb. Cell, he did this. I hate to say it, Trunks, but you've seen better days. That's right. Piccolo and I, we both rushed after Gohan. It looks like he's in bad shape, but I can still feel his key. Strange. I can't sense those little demons. I have no time to waste. I've got to get to Gohan! That massive key! Who could it be? What? It's Goku! Such wild, violent energy! G Goku! What happened? Take these and get out of my way! R right! Impudent worms! I won't let you do as you like on my battlefield! You don't have the luxury of looking away in this fight. Ooh, that's better. Those beans never cease to amaze me. Boy! Father! You're alright! Where's Gohan? And what happened to the little cells? <laughs> of course I'm alright, you fool! Father, please be more gentle! He's in critical condition! Leave here at once and tend to the Namek and the Earthlings. <clears throat> Easy there, Piccolo. Give it a minute. You are in pretty bad shape. <clears throat> Vegeta! Where is Gohan? Answer me right now! Gohan is dead. <clears throat> no! What? <clears throat> Gohan. I'm so sorry. I, I wasn't strong enough to save you. Damn it all! I hope you're happy, Goku. Your son's dead now! He's dead! 
Piccolo, listen. I know the situation seems bad right now, but we can bring Gohan back with the Dragon Balls. And right now, Goku is- Goku is what? Stronger? You're a fool if you think strength is all that matters. What good is strength if your poor decisions cost the life of your own son? How can we put our faith in a man like that? I've had enough of this sentimental dribble! There is no place for weakness on the battlefield! Take the other weaklings and leave here! Now! <laughs> Piccolo? Maybe my father is right. Let's round up the others and head back to the lookout. Uh, hey! Where are you going? Don't leave me here! <laughs> now then, Kakarot! Why haven't you finished the job? Damn it! I don't have any strength left! So you're still alive. That's good. It would have been disappointing if you had died so easily. Let's continue. What on earth are you doing, clown? I didn't realize you were one for torture. You have allowed this power to take hold of you and dictate your actions. I didn't think you were so weak. What would your own son say if he saw you this way? Go on. Stand aside. I will finish this. V Vegeta, you wouldn't kill a downed warrior, would you? Let me gather my strength, and I will give a fight that a warrior of your stature deserves. Vegeta, thank you. <laughs> you may have my cells. Huh. But you don't know me at all, do you, android? <laughs> Vegeta, you bastard! I have suffered you for long enough, android! Be gone! Final Blast! Good riddance. Kakarot, that form you used against Cell, what was that? That is the last time you will ever have the advantage over me, Vegeta. Now then, Goku. The way I see it, it's one round apiece. Let the final round of the Cell Games begin. <laughs> You monster! You're supposed to be dead! How the hell did you come back? You see, Goku, even if I am reduced to nothing more than a single living cell, I will always come back. This body of mine truly is perfection. I cannot be defeated. It is simply impossible. Even if I am brought to the brink of extinction, my cells will bring me back even more powerful than before. So you see, I am invincible! <laughs> Shut up! Invincible? Hm. Don't make me laugh. All I have to do is make sure there's nothing left when I destroy you. <laughs> you are most welcome to try. Vegeta. His key is faint, but he's still there. Way to stay alive, tough guy. I've got to steer the battle away from here. I think I've got it. That just might work. Here goes! Solar Flare! Oh, I see what you're doing. 
Very well, I'll play along. And now that our locale has been chosen, let us commence our final battle! What's wrong, Goku? I thought you were raring to go! <laughs> Weak attacks like that will never hurt me! You! Insolent worm! Know your place! <laughs> Meanwhile, Piccolo and Trunks have taken Gohan's body and the other injured Z-Fighters to Kami's lookout. Once there, Krillin, Tien, and Yamcha are each given a Senzu. Sensing the desperate battle below, the recovered team quickly disperses to gather the Dragon Balls. Now, with all seven balls gathered, the dragon Shenron is summoned once again. That wish shall be granted. Go on! Go on! Be quiet, Krillin! I'm sorry, Piccolo, but he he's still not getting up. <laughs> He's back, guys! Yes! <laughs> I was dead! I'm sure of it! It was Cell! He was the one that killed me! Well, you're fine now. And that's what matters. Goku's gonna teach that monster a lesson! Listen, Gohan. Cell is even more powerful than before. As things stand, I'm not certain if even Goku can defeat him alone. We need you. Y you're kidding me! Have you completely lost your marbles? Even if what you're saying is true, we're not sending him back out there! He's just been brought back to life! Gohan, it's not fair for me to ask this of you, but we need your power. You can feel what's happening down there, can't you? Cell's power! It's like nothing I've ever felt! Dad! No! He's fading fast! He'll be killed at this rate! Piccolo, surely you don't agree with this? Say something! There's a reason Gohan was brought back first. If we're going to make a difference in this battle, we need all the help we can get. If Cell wins, we all die anyway. I won't force you to stand and fight with us. I refuse to be responsible for putting you in a situation like that. However, I also agree with Trunks. We have to act quickly. Gohan, the decision is yours alone. You must decide now! <sighs> this is pointless. B what? With every exchange, I can feel your power slipping away from you. I'm afraid you are no longer a challenge. I must commend you. You truly were the only one on this worthless rock worth fighting. Perhaps I will never face a challenge like this again. For that, you have my gratitude. Nevertheless, all good things must come to an end. I shall grant you a warrior's death. You and this entire solar system will vanish. And I will live on as the mightiest in the universe. And I'll die before I let you get away with that. You won't kill anyone else. I'll end you right here. Oh, very well. Just one more paper wall to break through. Prepare to be erased, fools! What's the matter, Goku? I thought you had more left than this! 
<laughs> He's too strong. I can't keep this up. Is this really the end? Goku! Don't you dare give up! You hear me? K King Kai? Goku, listen to me. If Cell's allowed to live, he will go on to terrorize the entire universe. You have to stop him here! King Kai? Wait. That's it. That technique. I don't know how long my body can hold out, but this is the only option I have left. Now I don't care about the cost! I'll destroy him before he can hurt anyone else! Kyle! Impossible! How is he generating so much power? What? That's not possible! The Kaioken, was it? <laughs> Who knew you had such a marvelous technique tucked away in your cells? And now, I will crush you with it! Ah! This is all my fault! Everyone! I... I'm so sorry! <laughs> this is the end for you, fool! <laughs> to be taught your place! No matter how many of you gather, you are nothing in the face of the perfect being! Senzu after all. <laughs> Impossible! How is that fool still alive? Yes, 
This is the end for me. Go on. I'm so proud of you, son. Goodbye. I can't sense Cell's key anymore. It's really over. Dad! We did it! <laughs> Kakarot, you... Dad! No! Dad! The battle is over, and Cell has been defeated, but at the cost of Goku's life. Gohan and the others take Goku's body back to the lookout, where they find Shenron still patiently waiting. As Gohan had been wished back prior, Shenron tells them that they only have one wish remaining. The Z Fighters use the remaining wish to resurrect all the people killed in Cell's rampage. Among those resurrected are Androids 17 and 18. What? How are we alive? I bet your little bald boyfriend and his crew had something to do with it. Goku had died as a result of his own actions, not those of Cell, and so his body remains lifeless. Dende advises that a wish could instead be made on Perungo to bring Goku back, but right at that moment, Goku communicates with the group from the other world. As Goku begins to speak, it becomes clear that he is sure of his decision. Everyone, I think it's better if I remain here in the other world. My actions have put the planet and all of you at risk. The Earth has been in danger so many times over the past few years, and I realize that it's mostly been because of me. In disbelief, Gohan faces skyward and cries out, Dad, you gotta come back! We still need you here! Goku warmly utters a smile as he responds, I'm sorry for everything I put you through. I truly am. But this really is for the best. The power you showed today was amazing, and I know that with you defending the Earth, it'll be safe. Maybe, when the time is right, I'll come back. Until then, stay strong, son. Gohan thinks for a moment and begins to smile. He thinks of fond memories with his father as he looks out into a sunlit ocean of clouds. As Gohan comes to terms with his father's decision, and the responsibility that has been passed down to him, he makes a silent promise to himself. I promise I'll never fail again. Seven years later, two months before the emergence of Margin Boo. You've grown so much, Gohan. I can sense a real confidence about you. But what I want to see is how strong you've gotten these past seven years. <laughs> and I'm curious about what you've learned in other world, Dad. Oh, I've learned a lot. Tell you what, how about we put all our cards on the table? I'll go first. Go on. This is what I call Super Saiyan 3. Wow, that's really impressive, Dad. But I got something different. After you died, a person claiming to be the Supreme Kai came to Earth, drawn by the power we showed in our battle against Cell. Long story short, I've been training with him for the past seven years, and believe me, I've done the hard yards. Let me show you. Gohan, your power. I've never felt anything like this before. But I'm not about to give up. Come on, give me all you've got! I'd expect nothing less from you, Dad. Bring it on! Ah! Ah! 